there has been tremendous advances in the field of interventional cardiology over the past few years. The uh, development of new technology, new devices and new techniques have allowed us now to tackle more and more complex cases. As I've mentioned previously, one of the more challenging or difficult subset of lesions that we have to deal with are the chronic calcified plaques or blockages that are hardened. These calcified plaques may not open up with simple balloon angioplasty. For example, if you look at the angiogram here, this is a patient of mine uh, who is an elderly gentleman with diabetes mellitus who presented with limiting angina. As you can see from his angiogram here, his right coronary artery is severely diseased and has a very tight stenosis uh, that is diffused and calcified. Right from the word go, we know that this is going to be a very challenging case. So, there are new devices now that allow us to crack these vessels. In addition to the traditional balloon, for example, we, we can always try a balloon to inflate and see if it cracks open. If it doesn't, then we can always opt to use, for example, a cutting balloon. A cutting balloon is basically a balloon with blades attached to it. So when you inflate the balloon, these blades will try to cause a crack or fissure in the arteries and that will reduce the compliance of the vessel or rather increase the compliance of the vessel and then after subsequently you can put a normal balloon through that and then crack it open fully. So cutting balloon is one ad advent but there, there are limitations with the cutting balloon obviously and um, sometimes the cutting balloon may be bulky and you may not be able to pass the cutting balloon through the um, tight uh, calcified stenosis. In addition to the cutting balloon there are other new more exciting developments in this field. There there is the uh, development of certain devices that allow us to shave off the calcium. There's what we call a drilling device, patient arthrectomy. It is actually done percutaneously, very much like the angioplasty procedure through an incision in the groin. It's inserted again over the wire like how you would insert a balloon or a stand. And the drill is the place proximal to where tight blockages and then through a console which we operate on the bedside outside the patient we are able to activate the drill which bursts and drills at about 170,000 rpms and that shaves off the calcium and once calcium is removed before we can clear all the calcium the vessel should be much more compliant to an angioplasty procedure the drill is removed balloon is put in, we always put a balloon after that just to ensure that it does expand and there's no longer the dog bone appearance seen from an unexpanded balloon because of the calcification. To make sure that the lesion can be expanded fully and then the stand is inserted and the procedure is finished. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you.